If you were building a five-a-side team, this would be some spy for you. Stevie Nichol, Frank LaBeouf, and Jan Agafjordov, all the way down the middle. Uh, gents, uh, let's start in the Premier League. Let's start with happen what happened on Friday night. Wolves winning against Crystal Palace. That actually puts them into a tie at the top with Everton and Liverpool. Same points behind on goal difference. Obviously, Everton and Liverpool still to play, but very comfortable win for Wolves against Palace. So goals from Ait Nouri and from uh, Podence. Uh, Stevie, start with you. Are Wolves for real? Are they genuine top four contenders, do you think? Uh, Wolves are for real. I think we knew that already. Uh, the last couple of seasons, uh, they've actually given us hope that they could maybe break in um, to that top four, but they're definitely contenders for the top four. I'm not so sure I'm ready to put money on them, but uh, deservedly won today, uh, play some lovely flowing football, uh, got two goals and created more chances. Uh, but as I said, deservedly won it uh, and deservedly are up, up near the top of the table. And Frank, they unearthed another French fullback who got his first goal for the club as well. Ait Nori, are you are you buying what they're selling at Molyneux? Oh yes, I mean I'm, I was very impressed, you know, already last season, but uh, this season again uh, they're doing great and they're very well balanced. And it took, it's true that uh, with uh, on top of it, uh, you know, buying that fullback, having his first game, I think he's only 20, not even 20, and uh, scoring his first goal. Um, you, you can feel that uh, the club is like a family and you could see that uh, he had no stress and was already uh, uh, adopted by the others so with uh, the big Portuguese legend. But uh, it's, uh, it's nice to see Wolverhampton playing like, uh, you know, you see some clubs not involved uh, um, and not pretending to be the top club in, the, in England, but doing great, playing great, you know, like I saw Southampton last, uh, last weekend. They, they go forward, they try, they uh, experiment well, and they, they have been success, successful sorry, um, so far. And, uh, and I enjoy, I enjoyed the game that I saw today. Um, Crystal Palace tried to exist the, the, at the beginning of the second half, but uh, Wolverhampton was so uh, above them, technically, physically, and, uh, and tactically, and they, they deserve to win, again, because of the balance that they, they showed and the way they played. Fantastic, I loved it. And yeah, we've already talked a lot about how topsy-turvy this year in the Premier League is going to be. Does it mean that Wolves, or a club like Wolves, can, can be there at the end? I don't think they will stick uh, at the top four, but I agree with the two boys, uh, the famous boys ahead of me, uh, about what I said about the, the team. There is something about Molyneux, there is something about Wolverhampton. I've been working there three, four times, coming there as a, as a guest journalist is a great place to come to. And it, there is something about this that I impressed by English football. They, they can have foreign owners, foreign managers, foreign players, but still that atmosphere, a family, family club, historical, traditional club, and they manage to do their way. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm impressed by the manager. I don't like, like, like it said, he doesn't try to do something else. They are very honest in their approach. Some great, good footballers in like Neves and, and, and some good striking force going forward. So a, a team that is enjoyable to watch and is also a team, although they also spend some money, it still gives us a hope that people can kind of knock from below also in the Premiership, but not only the big, big spenders being up there. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.